I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. You need a mattress for your RV or home? These people have one. You get a 120 night sleep trial, free shipping, and a 10 year warranty. And best of all, they're made right here in the good old US of A. So go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin and get 20% off your purchase. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? That's right. Me, I'm good. I've been busy this morning. I have uh, left Vagabond Base Camp and have gone down to uh, the Tag and Title Office in Sholo. Well, why have you done that, Camper Van Kevin? Well, I did. I did a thing. Uh, all right. So you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of geo trackers. I've had blue, the white one, the red one. Got mosquitoes biting me. Ow. <laughs> Something bit me. Okay. Um, and for one reason or the other, I sold them. Some I wished I had. Anyway. So my friends Frank and Tammy, they uh, do a little yard selling here and then. And they sent me back a picture of a little geo tracker for sale. I was like, hmm. The price was right. It's a 1996 Geo Tracker four door, four by four, already set up for towing. Um, it'd just be easier for me to show you. So here it is. It's a 1994 Geo four door tracker. I think the wheels, I've never seen these wheels before. They're geo wheels. I may put on the wheels that came off of red. I have the factory wheels on it. But uh, this isn't my plate. I got a temporary plate. I got a tape on top of this. This side has a has two dents, and it's got an Arizona sunburn. But uh, these are things that I'm working on already set up to tow. Uh, the, the hitch is in the back. So I've been working a little bit on the sunburn. I got some plans. But you know what? It's purple. I don't know what color it looks like on the screen. Let's see it a little bit better. That's purple, y'all. I don't care how you cut it. You know what? Purple's faster. <laughs> so the inside it was really, really, really nice though. Yep, yep, yep. Now, somebody did a, a home tent job on it. And it's not a great job, and it's not a great film. However, it saved this interior. I don't think I've had an interior this nice in a GeoTracker. It's superb. Another thing that I'm not used to it has a four speed automatic. You can turn your overdrive on and off here. You have a normal and a power switch. Okay. Four wheel drive works great. It has, it has cruise control. It works. A top of the line, not really, cassette player from Jensen. Dun dun dun. And it has 138,000 miles on it. A little bit more miles than I would like. The guy I bought it from, he pulled it behind his motorhome. Um, he, he's had it for a couple years, but hadn't went anywhere in it. Just towed it, but hadn't used it very much. He's getting off the road. The guy he bought it from used it and towed it a lot. I found his name and number on a uh, 
receipt for these tires. So I called him up because the guy I bought it from, he didn't know a whole lot about it. So I called him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that tracker. I wished I hadn't sold it, but I wanted something a little bit bigger. I'm like, okay. He said, but it sure did tow good. I said, well, tell me about the mechanicals on it. He said, well, I blew the head gasket at about 114,000 miles. I said, no kidding. He's like, yeah. He said, why are you laughing? I said, well, I just blew the head gasket on mine at 120,000. We had a good laugh. He said, yeah, I did a timing belt on it and a water pump. He said, somewhere around 115,000 miles. I said, yeah, I believe you. He said, uh, when I took the uh, heads off, I had the valves reworked. And while I was in there, I did a timing belt, water pump, belts, hoses, everything. But that was about five years ago. I said, well, it's got a, got a few more miles on it since then. But uh, yeah, she's all here. And it runs smooth and slick as a button. There's my new tag right there. In Arizona, you tape them on your old tag or on an old tag, and it takes a few weeks for it to uh, to come in. So uh, yeah, um, the automatic. I've had three speed automatics, but never with the overdrive, never with the power feature. Crazy enough. I feel like I got more power going through these hills and stuff. I'm not going through the gears, revving it up high. She goes. Now maybe you can see that purple a little bit better here. The inside of these doors aren't sunburned. Now I had a sign on the window. They wanted 4,000. That was scribbled out. Then it had the price 3000 So I said, uh, Eric, let's meet you and Felix and my friend uh, Frank. So let's go look at it. And uh, we got there and drove it, and it drove good. Air conditioning, whoo, it was cold. And the lady says, uh, well, if you want it, I won't take a penny less than 2500 <laughs> uh, I'd have gave her three grand. I'd have gave her 35. I won't take a penny less than 2,500. She's selling it for her daddy. And uh, so uh, I said, I got $30 in my pocket. Let me go, let me go get some cash and come back. And when I left, so I gave her the $30 to hold it. And when I left, I put the keys in my pocket. <laughs> I said, ain't nobody else gonna take that tracker. So uh, anyway, uh, took Felix and Frank home and uh, Eric, nomadic fanatic, he came back with me. Here's a picture of him behind me uh, driving red. He really liked it. But uh, yeah, so the uh, air conditioner was real cold the day I bought it. The next day it was real cold and it was stopped. Didn't get warm. It got cold, then it stopped. The next day she just blew warm. So the guy that had it, you know what he did? That's right. He knew it had a leak, but he put some Freon in to sell it. it got me. But I know it works. And uh, now I know all the work to the engine that's been done. He said he serviced the transmission, went through this thing at 114000 So I'm going to take it to my mechanic. I've already called him. I said, listen, guess what I bought? He said, another GO tracker. I'm like, how'd you know? I was going to get a, uh, I had decided, is it Kevin, you worked hard, get you something newer, get you a commuter, four wheel drive, all wheel drive commuter. I was going to spend around 15, maybe 20, but you know, move up into the, the 20th century, 21st century. Anyway, you know, get a little bit more modern. I didn't. So anyway, that's what I got going on today. Um, I'm uh, uploading my video. I got a place up in Sholo that's got fantastic internet speeds, uh, like 80 up. I mean, 80 down and 80 up. Uh, my Starlink doesn't do that. So I was like, I need to make a video because I kind of gave a hint what I did on Facebook. 
So I'm gonna take it to my mechanic, fix the air conditioner, tell him to go through it, find anything wrong with, fix it. A money ahead. Uh, it drives just so nice. And having this extra door back here makes it ride better. So all that work's been done to the engine. It's, got, it's already set up for towing. I didn't show you the, uh, I didn't show you the, the tow hitch. Yeah, I'm gonna fix all this. I'll make a video about it. I got a plan. It, it's not that bad. I used to do paint and body work a little bit, but look how nice this interior is. There's the tow stuff and the lights are already wired up. So when I put on the brakes, the lights on the tracker will come on from the vehicle. I'll probably make it where I can sleep in this thing too. Do a little car camping. Look at them wheels. I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna use. So I don't think it's gonna need much. I'll know soon. My mechanic's a Geo Tracker, Suzuki Sidekick Nut Fanatic, and a diesel mechanic. He's good. So, feel a lot better spending $2,500 rather than $2,000. May not be exactly what I wanted. I want a Cadillac SRX. I did. I ain't gonna lie. This is what I need. Well, why have two cars, camper van, Kevin? Gus, you got blah, blah, blah. Listen, I worked hard all my life. If I can't have a 25 year old car or two, then what, then what was it all for? Why did I do it? Right? I mean, a lot of people go out and buy a side by side and spend 25, $35,000 just for an off-road toy. I guarantee you this little geo tracker, it may not go as fast, but it'll get you there too. Uh, these things are fantastic off the road. And this one's great on the road. So yeah. Yep. Fix the air conditioning. Go through it. Maybe put on a lift. But how am I going to fix the paint? Do you remember my black camper van? I rolled it with Herculiner and painted it black. I'm going to roll this thing and paint it purple. You know, the, the door jams and stuff's already done. Might paint it the same color as my purple tiny house. Why not? Why not? Why spend the money on a nice paint job when I'm just gonna uh, use it, take it through the woods, right? Not gonna abuse it, take care of it. But why not? Why not spend two hundred dollars on a paint job? One hundred and fifty. What else do I want to tell you? So don't begrudge me a twenty-five hundred dollar car. I worked for it. I earned it, and. Uh, I think that makes today's video. What else I want to tell you? I think that's it. So, I'm going to end this little video where I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, what? I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. Oh yeah, I've already named it. Can you guess what it is? I bet you can. Put it down in the comments below. No, I'll just tell you. Purple's faster. <laughs> I named my car Purple's Faster. My truck, my SUV.